Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna be showing you some chemical reactions, for example, and what we're gonna do with that is we are gonna, I'm gonna show you this whole thing of mass and atom conservation. I have showed you that, well, I've told you that um, when you have a chemical change, the mass and the atoms are conserved, but I haven't showed you how it actually works. And so now we're gonna do that. So what I want you to see is that there is an arrow over here, and that arrow divides us into a left-hand side and a right-hand side, okay? So let's go look at the left side first. And what we're gonna work out is we're gonna work out how many atoms are there, so the number of atoms, and we're gonna also work out the total mass, okay? So I have showed this before in some other lesson where I showed how to calculate the number of atoms and also how to calculate the mass by using a periodic table. So what we can see with this first molecule is that it's gonna have um, three carbons, so three carbons and eight hydrogens, okay? Then we're gonna move on to this one over here. So remember that this five in the front, uh, you can just, you can write it like this, five bracket. And now inside here, there are, there are two atoms. So we can say two oxygen atoms, okay? And so if you multiply the five and the two, then we actually just have 10 oxygen atoms. And so if you had to go add up all of the atoms, you've got three carbons, eight hydrogens, 10 oxygens. That is 21 atoms in total. Okay, now if we had to go work out the mass, well, we know that three carbons would be three times, uh, the mass of carbon is 12. There's eight hydrogens, each hydrogen has a mass of one. And then there are 10 oxygens. Now each oxygen has a mass of 16. Go ahead, calculate that. And that'll give you 204. Okay, so let's just go write that down quickly. There we go. Now we're gonna go and do the exact same thing on the right-hand side, okay? So now we are on the right-hand side, RHS, or let's just say right side. Right side, okay. So this four in the front is for, you can just do it like a bracket. Now inside that, that bracket, you've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens plus one oxygen, right? That's one oxygen. Then you're gonna say plus three, because this three is for all of them. Then inside here, there is one carbon and two oxygens. So if we had to multiply those numbers in, you're gonna get eight hydrogens and four oxygens. And then three carbons and six oxygens. And so if you had to put everything together, four oxygens plus six oxygens is going to be 10 oxygens, okay? eight hydrogens and three carbons. Now, if we just come back to what we had here, I erased it, but we had three carbons, eight hydrogens and 10 oxygens. Can you see it is exactly the same on both sides? How amazing is that? The next thing I wanna quickly work out the mass. And so well, let's first get the atoms. So the number of atoms would be 21, same as over here. And then if we had to go work out the mass, it would also be exactly 204 because we also have 10 oxygens, eight hydrogens, and three carbons. So can you see that in a chemical change, which is a chemical reaction, as long as we've balanced it by putting numbers in the front, Kevin, I don't know how to balance. Don't worry, we haven't got into that yet. We still, I'm, in, in future lessons, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to balance. But for now, I'm giving you the numbers in the front, okay? So for now, I just want you to know that once you've balanced your equation, the left-hand side and the right-hand side will have the same amount of each atom. So three carbons on the left, three carbons on the right. Eight hydrogens on the left, eight hydrogens on the right. 10 oxygens on the left and 10 oxygens on the right. So can you see that whatever we start with is exactly what we're gonna end up with. The molecules just rearrange themselves in different, sorry, the atoms rearrange themselves in different ways. And so they create new types of substances, but the mass is the same on both sides and the atoms. Is the molecules the same? Well, if you remember one of the lessons where I spoke about if molecules are conserved, we said that molecules are only conserved in physical changes, but with chemical changes where we have like a reaction, the molecules aren't conserved. For example, here we've got one 
molecule of this. So that's one molecule. Here we have five molecules. So that's six altogether. On the right hand side we have four plus three and that's seven. Sometimes it works but that's just a coincidence. There's no law that tells us that the molecules have to be the same. So the only thing that's conserved with chemical changes will be atoms and mass. Let's do some more examples. Okay, so let's start with the left side. So here we've got one Na, so one sodium, plus one oxygen, plus one hydrogen, plus one hydrogen over here, plus one chlorine over there. And so if you had to count the number of atoms, that would be one plus one plus one plus one plus one. So that's gonna be five atoms. If we had to go calculate the mass, well that's just gonna be, um, the mass will just be one sodium, so one times 23, plus one times oxygen, which is 16, plus, uh, you could put these together if you want, um, so there's two hydrogens and each hydrogen is a one, and then you could say, so I put those two together, okay, to make that one. And then one chlorine. Now, a chlorine is 35.5. Okay, so if we had to go calculate the mass, 55.5, 55.5. Okay, let's go do the right side. And then we'll do one more example after this, and then we're done. So on the right side, we've got 1 Na, 1 Na plus 1 Cl plus two hydrogens plus one oxygen. And so if you had to add that up, that's one plus one plus two plus one, which is five atoms. Now remember that these two together, you could just say two hydrogens. So can you see that this and this is exactly the same? And then to go get the mass, it would give us exactly the same. One um, sodium, one chlorine, two hydrogens, and one oxygen. If you had to add all that up together, you get 55.5. So once again, the atoms on the left is the same as the atoms on the right. That's called atom conservation. And then on the left, we have 55.5. And on the right, we have 55.5. That is called mass conservation. Last example. So on the left side, we have two Na atoms, so two Na's one carbon, three oxygens. Now this two is not for the hydrogen. This two is for all of it. So you could say two and then open up a bracket. And then we have one hydrogen plus one chlorine, close the bracket. Now you can put the two inside if you want. So that's gonna be um, two Na's plus one carbon plus three oxygens plus two hydrogens plus two chlorine atoms, okay? And if we had to go add all those atoms together, there's two plus one plus three, that's already gonna give us six, eight, 10. So there's 10 atoms. If we had to go get the mass, we get two times 23 plus one times 12 because carbon is, um, carbon is 12 plus three oxygen, so each oxygen is 16, plus two hydrogen, each hydrogen is a one, and then two CLs, each CL is 35.5. And if you had to calculate that, you get 179. Okay, so let's go check on the right side. So on the right side. So remember that this two is for all of all of uh, that. So you're going to say bracket. And then inside there, you've got one Na plus one Cl plus in here. Now you've got one carbon plus two oxygens. In here now, you've got two hydrogens and one oxygen. Okay. And so if you had to multiply this two into the bracket, then we've got two Na's plus two CLs, we still then have one carbon plus two oxygens plus two hydrogens plus one oxygen. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go and put um, these two together, so that just becomes three oxygens, like that. Okay, and so 
we can see that it's exactly the same over here and over here. And so we have eight, 10 atoms all together. And if you had to go get the mass, you're also gonna get 179. And so once again, all I wanted you to learn from this lesson was that on the left side and the right side, the atoms, the number of atoms stay the same. The, the mass stays the same. The number of molecules, there's no such thing that says those have to be the same. So here on the left, we have one plus two, which is three. And on the right, we have two plus one plus one, which is four. So the molecule, the number of molecules don't need to be the same. It's only the atoms and the mass.